Hi, welcome to Papa's Workshop. In today's video, I want to show you something special that I've been able to uh, get into the shop. And this is this inline exhaust fan. And this is by Diwali. Now this is a six inch diameter fan. So this is fantastic for being able to not only exhaust the fumes from the laser and get it out of the shop, but you can also use this to literally exhaust out any type of room. This is also perfect for the greenhouses with the garden to be able to get that excess heat out as well as the grow rooms that you might have because I grow quite a few vegetables indoors as well and you need to have that air moving. This type of an inline fan is fantastic for that purpose. And I haven't quite made up my mind where I'm going to permanently attach this, but for now, I'm gonna use this with the lasers. In addition to the inline fan that you're gonna have, you're gonna need some extra things. Now I went ahead and picked up some of this ductwork. Now this is a six inch variety, and I'll let you see that in the camera, but any type of ductwork will work, but you will need the six inch. In addition to that, you're gonna need some be able to have some six, six and a half inch hose clamps to be able to attach it to this inline fan. Now this is designed so you can permanently attach this fan, connect the ductwork to it, and should you ever need to pull the motor out, you don't have to take apart the ductwork. That's a very nice feature. Another feature that I really like about this Diwali inline fan is the fact that it has a remote switch for it. Now on the back of this, you can use these holes right here and mount it permanently to the wall, or you have a little area here for a stick-on pad. And those pads are actually provided in this kit for you. So you have two of these that you can just stick on and mount it anywhere that you wish. And then later, should you need to move it, it's easy to do that. Now this surface is a tempered glass surface. It looks very modern, very nice. Of course, you have the off, low and a high speed and this switch also has the built-in surge protector so that's actually good for this unit itself one of the things that i like most is you can mount this conveniently to where you are in the shop and that way when you're ready to turn the exhaust fan on you don't have to run all the way across the shop to the fan to be able to turn it on and off you have this switch conveniently located so it's easy to be able to do now what you need to do is just pair this switch to the inline fan and that's all there is to it and it's very easy to do. So the next thing I want to go ahead and show you the back and we're just going to go ahead and pop this cover off and we'll be able to get this paired over to this Diwali uh, exhaust fan so that we can turn it on and off. To remove this back cover all you're going to need is a small screwdriver and you just slip it into this little slot and just pry it up. Just twist the screwdriver just a little bit and that cover will pop off. Now you have four little uh, pins that are actually holding it. Two on the front and then there's two on the back side. So all you do is just release those little pins and it may take a little bit of help with the uh, screwdriver just to loosen it up just a little bit. But it's really not difficult to pop this loose. And with that, the cover is off and you can see the circuit board inside. Inside of this you have an off and on switch. Now when it comes it's going to be in the off position so all you'll need to do is just turn the unit on. You also have the place for the batteries and the batteries is CR2016 and it takes two of them but those batteries quite frankly should last quite a while. Once you've turned the switch on then all you need to do is go ahead and put the back cover uh, back into place and from the standpoint of the switch itself, that's it. That's all you need to do. Now, let's go through the steps and actually pair this to the inline exhaust fan. I'm not sure if you're going to see this in the camera, but to test this unit out, when you push the button, you'll see that little light that will come on. So you can see it right there, and that lets you know that it, the switch is working. And that works for not only the off, but the low and the high speed. I've removed the cover off of the inline uh, exhaust fan and right there is a little reset switch. You hold that down for about three seconds and now you'll see that blinking. And then you just push that button, you see it blink, and that gives it where it's paired. 
Now you'll be able to turn this fan on and have it working. So I hope you can see that pairing this switch to the inline exhaust fan is extremely easy to be able to do. Now that it's paired and we've tested it, we know that it's running, all we need to do is just go ahead and put the cover back on to the inline exhaust fan and um, find a place to be able to hook this up. While I put this cover back on, I want to talk about the um, little orange straps that you see there. Those are actually a unique design to be able to uh, keep the motor in place and allow that ductwork to be able to remain in place. If you have existing ductwork already, all you need to be able to do is cut out a section of it so that you can just drop this into place. If not, then that makes it even easier. Find a convenient place to be able to mount this motor and then you'll be able to just easily connect the ductwork to the uh, inline exhaust fan. Now these are the little clamps that I'm talking about. You'll need to put a screwdriver in that little slot and be able to pry it out just ever so slightly to be able to release it. Once you do, then it acts like a normal um, little clamp that releases. So again, you'll just put the screwdriver in and pull it just slightly out on each side. Once you do that, it releases it. See that? Very, very easily. And now it'll come off and it also just hooks on the back. So it will come completely out. Now the motor will just lift out. When you lift this motor out and take a look at it, you'll see that it is a very concise design. And I really like how this works. It's a very quiet fan. Now I'm going to set that aside and look at the base. Down here, you're going to see where you have four mounting holes. So you can mount this on the wall, ceiling, anywhere that you need to. Now this little surround will be in there and that just helps to funnel the air. You do get the mounting screws with this so that you don't have to go digging. You already have them in the kit. And then when you get it mounted, all you'll need to do is just drop the motor right back into position and it just snaps into place. It's not difficult at all. When it snaps into position, all you'll need to do then is just take these little clamps, hook it onto the back, and you see the little hook right there. And I'll take this strap, hook it on, go over on each side of this motor to the housing, and then just hook it on the front with the same type of hook, and then just lock it down in place. And you'll just push it in, and it will lock. It's not going to come loose. So I think that's a unique design that works real well with this type of a setup. Here's a look at the data plate that is on the motor itself. So you can look at the various specs and see, hopefully, what you're looking for. But I like this, and I can hardly wait to be able to put it to the test. Well, there you have it. I really like this inline exhaust fan. Now, I have some unique situations in my shop that I need to take care of. When I use the laser, I set it up in the center of the shop on the workbench. And that way, literally, I can have the cameras all the way around to do the different video takes that I need. Well, to be able to effectively use the exhaust fan, I want to be able to vent this outside. I have two different windows in the shop and I want to be able to decide what's going to be the best way to be able to do it and where I need to reposition the lasers to be able to have access to the cameras to video the various projects as well as being able to vent it outside. So you're going to have to stay tuned for some upcoming videos to be able to see how I ultimately <laughs> decide to set this up and vent this outside because there's oftentimes if I'm doing just wood, I'm not too worried about it. I can have that well ventilated within the shop. But if I'm doing other types of uh, engraving on paint or tumblers or those types of things, oftentimes you don't want to have those fumes in the shop at all. So I will typically take the laser and everything outside. Well, with this inline exhaust fan, I'll be able to exhaust it directly outside through one of the windows when I decide which one and how I want to set it up. So thank you very much for watching this video. And by the way, I will put a link down in the description should you want to take a closer look at this item and to see if you'd like to add it to your shop. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next video. 
because without you, I wouldn't have a channel. And hopefully when you come, you'll be able to learn things and be able to use in your shop to make your life just a little bit easier. So again, thank you so much for being able to support this channel and spend time with me in my shop. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next video. So for now, bye-bye.